Steve, I'm not sure how well this is going to come out. I can't seem to get the lighting or the distance with the camera correct. So if there's any questions, you know, shoot me a message. This is the tester in its broken down state. I'll go from left to right. This is your zero adjustment screw on the left upright, and I'll show you how to zero that during the video. This is your two pound weight in its cradle right here. This is your center pivot here, and the center pivot is on a bearing, and I hope that the thing will focus. And the center pivot has three holes. If you're using the standard scale, you want the balance to be in the center hole, front hole for light arrows, back here for using the heavy arrow scale. And all you do is insert this bearing into the recess until it bottoms out and it's easy to do. <coughs> this is your right upright and to set the unit up you raise the swing arm there's a butterfly knob on the back to tighten it. Uh, you choose your scale by removing, pushing from the back, these three plastic keepers. Choose your scale, standard, heavy, or light, each of which is graded in AMO, with a two pound spine. Uh, this on the center is the Easton aluminums and then out here is the deflection for carbons and that's rated 1.9428 which is automatically done by the distance. Uh, Kevin's pretty much a genius on this stuff. So you don't have to change weights or anything to spine carbons or aluminums. Okay, so your upright is set up. Take your two pound ball, and I don't know if you can see that or not. This There's a hole drilled in here, and he has this piece of oak such that you just lay that in there, compress it with that, and you're up and running. Now, the next thing you need to do is to take your indicator rod, which is red on this end, and has a, a brass fitting over it on the terminal end and insert that into the swing arm just tighten finger tight and then let that lay. Now to zero and to uh, determine spine, uh, choose your orientation. Everybody's going to do it a little bit differently um, and, and lay your shaft in there. Now there is, on this scale you can see zero with an arrow and there's a line right there. So that's where you want your indicator line to be when you put your shaft on there. You use this knob to screw that up or down this end until the indicator is on that line. Loosen the tension on here and lay that and just let that go down and you'll see that's a 54 pounds right there so remove that put it up mark your shaft to one if you want to do a finished arrow i lay it knock in to my right and lay it in there i always do it with the the index up take my thing and zero it there and then lock it down and that is a 60 pound spine shaft so that's really about all there is to it to break it down simply undo that lay that there and put her back down if you have any questions, again, just shoot me a message and I'll be happy to help you.